<laughs> Look at this chocolate. It's literally flat chocolate. Look at that. Mmm. That's good. What's poppin' everybody? So we have some bad news. Let me get my handy dandy laptop and we will read it out to you. You can probably already tell by the title. So, PlayStation TV manufacturing halted by Sony. What? Yes, so a couple days ago, they announced that they are gonna stop producing PlayStation TVs in Japan. So whenever I saw this tweet, I was like, wow. I quoted it and I was like, wow, that's crazy. And that's crazy for a number of reasons. One reason is that the PlayStation TV is a godsend in Japan. If you look at the list of game sales of, I believe it was like uh, February, January, something like that, it goes PS4, or no, no, no it goes Nintendo 3DS, uh, I believe PS4, Wii U, and then Vita. So that just lets you know that that thing is very, is doing very well in, in Japan. And so whenever you think about the idea of putting it on TV and making it a lot cheaper, you know, and playing games with on the TV with a lot cheaper, uh, you know, console to be able to play those games, that sounds amazing, especially in Japan. But <laughs> I guess it doesn't sound that amazing. I mean, shit. One reason why I really like this was uh, because it's small, it's cheap, and it can play that on the TV. And with that ability, you can record without having to spend $300 for a capture card for this thing. I know a lot of other people though, Some say some people don't like handhelds, so they don't really wanna spend that 200, 300, whatever heck money it was at the time to get the handheld. They could get this and they could play their games. But for Japan, and for worldwide, but you know, kind of looking at it in Japan, uh, the issue was that you couldn't play all the games. You could only play a select few, which doesn't make sense to me because I saw a hack for the PlayStation TV which allowed you to play literally every game. I remember seeing a video of somebody playing Gravity Rush on the PlayStation TV. So don't tell me it's not possible because people did it. So I don't know what takes wrong with Sony. They just, I, I, I just don't know. Like I said, when I first saw that tweet, I was just was surprised that it happened in Japan. And I was like, so the US is still getting them? No. Later on, RPG site um, tweeted as well that US is going to also halt production of the PlayStation TV. And I mean, that's kind of scary. You know what I mean? Cause that thing came out in 2014. It came out around October or November. I think it, I think it was November-ish or October. It's one of those two months that it came out in 2014. It lasted until the next year, 2015, October, November. But it's been we're three months into this. We're, we're yeah, three months into this year, and it's it's already gone. It's basically done. So that's about a year and like four or five months of a lifetime that this system had. That's pretty crazy. Cause the, uh, the PlayStation Vita has been out since 2013. And if this thing can't, can barely last a year, it's only time before this thing holds production. You just need to think about all the good times we had with this man. <laughs> Cut, 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 cut. Whew. Another thing that, uh, you know, Sony did wrong with this console was the idea of how they marketed it and how they, the name that they gave it, you know, in the US. So Japan, that was perfect. Naming it PlayStation Vita TV was perfect because in Japan, this system is, you know, heavenly. It's, it's a great system. They market it. They market the Vita how they market PS4 in Japan, basically. So calling this thing a Vita TV was great because they the people in Japan hear the word Vita and they, they would like it. They'd go crazy. They'd be excited. They'd be like, oh, shoot. God. But if you did that in the US, people would give you one of two responses. One. Do I know what a Vita is? Is it some type of food? Or two. 
have I ever played a beta? Do I look like a faggot? Get out of my face. So, so what they did in the US was they named it the PlayStation TV. Now there is a number of issues with that name, but there's also some good stuff. Big issue is that they released this at around the time when Apple TV was booming. You know, when a lot of people were like going crazy about it. A lot, everybody basically knew what Apple TV was. And this is around the time when they released this PlayStation TV. So what do you think the average consumer is gonna think when they hear PlayStation TV? They're gonna think streaming. They're gonna think unlimited movies. They're gonna think stuff like that. And that's not, that's not what this thing does at all. It can't even watch Netflix. Like what? It can't watch Netflix, it can't watch Hulu, it can't do nothing. All it can do is play these games. That's all it's supposed to, it can't even play all these games. This thing was a fail. The more I think about it, the more of a failure it is for God's sakes. Like if you're gonna be able, if you're gonna be a system dedicated to playing these games for a cheaper price, at least make it all games or majority maybe like one or two games can't be played but they just got lazy they didn't feel like optimizing it they didn't feel like adding gyroscope effects with the with the uh, ps4 controller because if they did games like gravity rush would have been able to be played easily and that's a big game seller because people be like oh i heard that game gravity rush on the vita i want to play that oh play it in tv it's cheaper let me see you know and then all of a sudden i hear oh i can't play all games all right let me let me research what games you can play i mean hopefully you can play gravity rush. oh it can't play gravity rush that thing's trash and it's just tragic because that's just how it, that's how it was perceived in the U.S., you know. And with those errors, it's being discontinued. Just about the time when your mom's is probably leaving. Now I'm ready, about to make a move. Don't look back, cause I'ma ask your ass to move. Skipping through the line, tiptoeing real smooth. Any other average human would just get fooled. But you 